Woke up this morning in Corridon, Indiana, C-O-R-Y-D-O-N, and now on the way out of town on 135 South, found this 58 Ford, which you just don't see much. 12K on this one. And trying to decide if it's original paint or not. Good solid looking car though. How many of you are thinking, I remember when that was a $2,500 car. And still some others are going, I remember when that was a $200 car. <laughs> First year for the dual headlights. Has that T-Bird inspired inset. A little scoop on the grill there. Good looking car all in all. Everybody decided in 58 that they were going to put just an unbelievable amount of chrome on their cars. Look at the 58 Corvette. Especially compared to the 57 but the colors are just so awesome. It's a three-speed on the column. The contour lines on the roof. 502-448-4669. Nice looking car, really. I'd rock the heck. I'd make that a daily. Let's continue our journey. Father's Day 2023. See the, the roadkill right under the front tire of the truck? I promise you, I did not off a raccoon at a low rate of speed. can also promise you he stank. He stank like the backside of a beagle. All right, is this yours? No, it's a customer's. Okay. Super sport. Yeah, it's a, it's a Fox Ring matching number, 327. Four-wheel disc on it? I'll put that on there. Oh, so you do all the work? Yeah. Is it still a power glide? It is still a power glide. Wow. I'll pop the hood here too if you'll see inside. Yeah. Dirty right now. You know, you don't see many SS's in 66. No. Converted to electric fan? Yeah. That's a nice setup. I remember buying a whole bunch of those stickers when they first started yeah. reproducing those. Yep. I'd have a 283 and I'd be like, yeah, it's a 327. Let me grab the key and I'll pop the door. Oh, open. yeah. It's got some beautiful interior. Very pretty. For those of you who have never seen any uh, 66 Impala SS's or recently, wow, great job under the hood. Kind of taking it all in. That is so clean and just not a whole lot of stuff under the hood. Yeah. Little dune buggy. Oh yeah, you can tell there's a lot of time and energy. Oh, two-tone on the... Ah. Wow, that really... Oh, man. These look so much better in person. Yeah. Oh yeah. All the way from the dash, all the way out the front. Makes all the difference driving it. Yeah. Look what the classic, the classic stereo it looks like the original, but it's yeah. all, all modern. He didn't want me to paint it and uh, completely detail it because he's giving it to his 16-year-old uh, grandson. Ah. <laughs> See, I would get them like a an '82 Volvo. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've got, I had a bunch of those back in the days. Oh, you got a whole row of them yeah. over here. And I got a got my C30 here. This is a cool look under the hood. It's a wiring mess. But Still a big block or? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, he says. <laughs> I've got it in. It's, a, it's a wiring nightmare. Let me pop the hood. Oh, I've been there. I like to take out every square inch of the wiring and just start over. I bought a whole new harness, and I'm just now starting to wire it, but... Ooh, there you go. I always love those valve covers. Yeah, yeah, this is a... Hydro Boost setup? Yeah, this is, um... I went completely through the motor, 11 to 1 compression, all forge, roller cam. Is it still 454? Still, yeah, just 30 over. Yeah. Still crank. Yeah, I went all through this thing. Boy, I had my share of big blocks over the years. Yeah. 
That's kind of cool how the reservoir is up here, a separate tank, and then... I did that. So, yeah. the fire tree, with the fire tree, it sets right here because it's got a different alternator bracket on the fire tree because of the AC. Yeah. So I just made this bracket, and this, this actually came out of a 67 through 72 C40. Oh, big boy. Yeah. But it looks like it's a, it looks similar than the other one. I couldn't find the original, but I didn't want to put it here. So yeah. I just made that bracket and took it over there and just put all new hoses and stuff on it. I'm, it's kind of a working problem. You know what's really strange is when it comes to the wiring and stuff, I used to get painless all the time. Mm -hmm. And then I bought a couple little cheap ones on Amazon, and that's what I... They work fine. And they work great. They work totally great. Now, now well, I will say I'm not real happy with the way the fuses lock in and stuff, and you don't, yeah. have, and you don't have as many of them. That's where they saved a dollar. Yeah. yeah the exactly. fuses themselves look kind of... Kind of chintzy. But just put some good ones in there. These are fine. That's yeah. like a lot of hose clamps these days. You have to be careful yeah. which brand you get. Yep, yep. And I and I uh, this was just kind of a quick. Let me get it put together. Hose is even a little bit too short, but I just wanted to get it running just to. Yeah. And I put a. It's got a four L eighty E in it. Great transmission. Kind of hard to kill the. Yeah. Controller in it. I actually I have a Hummer H two which came believe it or not it it has the LQ four six zero. Yeah. But it came with a four L sixty. Yeah. Which I thought was insane. And I did the whole conversion to an 80, and then HP Tuners mm -hmm. did the segment swap. Okay. And that's okay. how it was updated. God knows that. What's under the covers? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, that looks like a looks like a Trans Am or Z28 spoiler. That would say, uh, Maybe I'm off. You're a little off. Is that a Mustang? That's a fastback Mustang in there, 69 ish. It's a 69. It is rough. <laughs> it is rough, rough, rough. They don't have to be much these days. Oh, but the color combination, I bet that dude was bad when it was new. Ah, yeah. oh, I bet that thing was bad. Here's another one here. I, like I love the quarters on those things. Yeah, I do too. Uh, I'm not really a Ford fan. Oh, uh, well. You don't have to be a Ford fan to like 69 Mustangs, man. This is... Oh, and a 70 to 73. Oh, wow. Cool rides, man. This one, and I've got one inside if you want to look at it. Hell yeah, I do. In pieces. Oh, hell. I'm... Same guy owns four of them. Wow. Yeah, this had that real wild looking spoiler that kind of molded down yes. over the quarter instead yes. of just that little tall piece the on first top. Year that, yeah, the 69 just had the straight one across the back. <laughs> That's cool. I had one, that, oh, okay. Factory Air, too. Wow. Nice bed there. Oh no no! This is my, this is my hobby. This stuff. Oh, hey man, this is how I keep my sanity. It's my therapy. Yeah, I've got a regular job, but this is. Oh, you play too, huh? Yeah, a little bit. I just gave my son an Ibanez twelve string. Okay, I've got a couple more out here. Oh yeah. Yeah, so I'm gutting the '69 here. What, do you even have a, a Vita bus, micro bus? 69. Yep, that's another customer. So you're getting all up in this. It's so difficult. Whenever I've seen an early Camaro and it's got some issues up in here, I'm like, oh, I got to move on. I'm not good enough to do that. Yeah, so I've got this, this piece of new cows coming. I've got all new floor. I've got everything. It's nice there. that they make everything. That, wow, that's not a typical converter. What are you putting that in? That's an 8L90. Oh, wow. It's so, small, though. Is it like it is. a higher stall? or is it? No, it's, it's a factor 8L90. Wow. It's going. Huh. This car, I have a up on the hill up here have another storage unit it's got a roadster shop yeah spec frame for this yeah it's um all tubular a arms um coil overs and that's gonna 15 use... and a half inch brakes all the way around oh under this. geez it's getting a got an lt4 supercharged lt4 and 8l90 going in this thing so the eight meaning eight forward eight gears speeds. it's yeah, yeah so holy crap <clears throat> yeah, the uh, in the year of my truck, you could get as an option the 6 speed, but it still has the 4L60, so yeah. thankfully it's rebuilt. That's a 69, as you can tell by that yeah. little crease there on the quarter. But it's getting all new sheet metal. Oh, got your LS motor right there. That's a 5.3. Um, that's, yeah. that's going in the, the little um, 
gray Chevy truck out there. Yeah. The 6.0 here going in the black truck. I've got building a 496 <laughs> back here. I've, uh, I did a 496 before going to a 555 in a drag car. Yep. 496 here going in a, the same gentleman who owns this Camaro, the Camaro outside and the Mustang has a 70 Chevelle I'm working on as well. It's a convertible, but I'm putting the 496 with a six speed in it. Wow. And it stays nice and cool in here. Well, I guess it gets warmer as the day goes on, but no, it does okay. That's okay. That's a 69. That's a 69. It's pretty nice inside. Here's Most the of these rusted away into absolute nothingness. Well, this one came from California. Is it okay to open that? Yeah. No. This one, it should be fine. It should clear now. <laughs> yeah, it came from California. It's, it's kind of a basic inside, which most of these were. Oh, yeah. I think this is the one that they said initially that they didn't list the 0 to 60 because they had a hard time reaching the 60. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. That was really cool with the one wing window. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Man, I know so little about these. I know that the one that has the windows in the top is just crazy money. Yeah, it's silly. It was like 21 windows or something? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's a neat little, and it starts, starts right up every single time. The lady, the couple who own it, I've been, I've do some work for him. He's got a 63 Corvette convertible I'm doing some work on, a 66 C10, this, and a couple others I'm doing a lot of work on. She drives us to work. Just about an eighth of a mile north. <laughs> That's cool, another little body shop there. But I tell you what, Bohannon's back there is the real deal, man. Uh, he had that 69 Camaro down to nothing. I would be terrified to have a car in that in that shape at that time. But he's uh, he's got a nice TIG in there and he's getting it done. Look at what I found. Looks like it's a C5, but I'm gonna go ask. So 5.3 iron block. <laughs> I've had some C4s too. That's still a great car. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. What uh what year did you start with on the chassis? Like a later C4 or What do you think so far? It's fun. It's like driving a go-kart every day. Oh, I bet. Drive it both days. Very nice. Yeah, everybody is always going to refer to like the Cletus car and all that. Yeah. But by the way, I'm from Tampa. He lives like half hour from me. Oh, yeah. Is it a 4L60 or? Yeah, it's got a turbo 350 in it. Even easier. Yeah. Road kill beat him to the punch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The very first one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you see these and you kind of get an idea what they look like and everything, but until you're, I mean, it's kind of like an American aerial atom, if yeah. you think about it, you know? Yeah, we're around big V8 and just the necessities. Did you uh, ever see how much it weighs? It weighs like 2,100. Holy hell. And even the base 5.3 is going to be 300 horse. Yeah. Is it a stock 5.3? It's got a cam in it. It's got, it's got like a truck cam in it for trying to tool That's not bad. I'm putting it, I have a C5Z06 and I just did a stroker 383 and got one of the Texas Speed and Performance. They call it a Tsunami V2. Yeah. And got that cam. It's a stroker and stuff. And Man, nice. Yeah, I came up to it and I was like, the frame does not look, because I just redid a C6 and the C6 and 5, that front frame is very similar to each other. And then I came up and I was like, wait, that doesn't, the brake system looks different. And I was like, wait, what? Yeah, it's on C4. It's cool though, man. It's, I bet you have a freaking blast. Yeah. <laughs> don't wait much, you can accelerate it real fast, so. Oh, I bet. Quick stop at the E-Town Harbor Freight, getting some straps and a tarp and whatnot because I'm getting ready to put some stuff in the back. I'm in the birthplace of Abraham Lincoln and this guy drove this to lunch. <laughs> it's got big spears for hay bales on the front and the back so I don't know if 
I'd be tailgating him or not. But anyway, we're going in that place right there. The Joel Ray Sprouse Lincoln Jamboree. Let's go get lunch. I hear the plate lunches start at $7.99. Joel Ray Sprouse Lincoln Jamboree Country Music Show Place since 1954. Kentucky's finest family style restaurant. I don't know, I know Kentucky pretty well. It's gonna have to be pretty impressive to be its finest. There's some food in here. I gotta admit, I'm kinda digging this place. Woman behind the counter picked out everything, the ham. She said she would not have gotten gravy, but I was like, well, I guess we'll never work. Sweet tea over there. Look at this. I think I'm gonna buy a t-shirt. Pretty cool. I'll probably go ahead and get a, a postcard of Joel while I'm here. I mean, too bad he's not here to sign it. Or maybe a t-shirt. I'm trying to figure out what this means. The back window says, seen it on an old Ford once. No idea. They told me this is a 429 police interceptor. Listen to the cam. I thought some kind of Mustang was rolling in. It was a dually. What the hell? It's got a tack in it? Will it do a burnout with the dual wheels? No. Oh, come on. I think you should try. I'll wait till you get out on the road. <laughs> All right. I can't wait to hear it. <laughs> Have a good one. Thanks for explaining it. <laughs> he said he uh, that seen it on an old Ford once. He said he used to work on trucks. And he said uh, one of his co-workers, you know, they'd say something like, oh, I've never seen that before. And one of his co-workers would always say, well, I've seen it on an old Ford once. So that's where that came from. Man, that truck sounds good. It's a clutch, too. Second gear. Man, that truck is pissed. <laughs> I love that. I must admit, that was a downright fantastic meal. Whew. Shows start July 1st. Lincoln Jamboree, Joel Ray's. If you're anywhere near here, you should drop into that place. What I didn't show you guys is that right off the back of the restaurant, there's a huge, like a big theater kind of area with all kinds of seating. I mean, that building, it's gotta be a couple thousand. Our boy Joel's doing well. Well, it's an SS. At least it says it is. Hard to tell these days. There's another one and another one. A little zoom going here. Huh. Pretty solid cars, really. Oh, there's another Nova Hugger Orange in the garage. Did you see that? There was just a glimpse of it. 61 South still. I have no idea where I am. I guess this guy probably ran across one of these that was converted a whole bunch of years ago then decided, maybe I'll do a tune-up, get it running, and put it out there on the street for sale cowl induction hood as one does <laughs> you don't see many of these what they call this a, a holiday 88 maybe not by the way the number is 299-6994 rallies look good on there yeah you don't see many of these in two doors hopefully it's designation oh, it's a LeSabre limited Ah. <laughs> I'm kind of digging this. 3500 bucks as it sits. No mention if there's a title. Looks as if some changes have been made. Man, that dash is so far up there away from the driver. I like that. Got the manual window cranks.
1700 for the Opal Manta. I guess it's a Manta. Clutch car. Imported to the U.S. by uh, Buick. Opal by Isuzu. So you go back and see those connections early on between the big companies. Remember those uh, small uh, little ram trucks they called them that it said uh, Dodge across the tailgate and then you look real close it said imported for Dodge. Cool stuff on this lot. Something down there. Is that a T-bird lurking? Let's go see. Well, it's a GM. Buick, maybe? A lot of the car's off of it, so it's kind of hard to tell. There's a caddy out front. Let's see that. She's a big one. Crew cab. Not quite as cool as the one we saw yesterday. That was the Pimp Daddy Special. Still... Big old sedan DeVille still has the fins on it. Not too far into the 60s. 63 ish, maybe? Tilt wheel. Cadillac did so much stuff nobody else was doing at the time. Power everything. Oh, it smells exactly like the caddy should. And the door closes beautifully on that car. That hood. <laughs> That car keeps going for a while. Power antenna, fender skirts. She's red hot and sassy. 12 bolt rear end under it. <laughs> a Mikado, that's actually even a pretty, that's even more rare than a, a regular Chevy Love. Running red, Jay Ferguson. I'm sorry that's not going to be the same Jay Ferguson that did, uh, is it Thunder Island? <laughs> also, <laughs> he went ahead and left the package there. It's probably been there since the 90s. Little Chevy Love with a uh, small block. Yeah. Big dome pistons in there. I bet this was a blast. They need to get this back out on the track. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. One of two potential scenarios is about to play out. See that generic Chrysler product? For sale here. Either the people at the end of this driveway are gonna think I'm going up there to ask about that, or they're gonna like, not, and I'll get shot. Hopefully there's some reason to be up here without getting shot. Well, there's all kinds of stuff here. I'm either gonna get shot here in a minute or something. Stewed up there, 62. Couple trucks over here, several trucks. Lots of trucks. I am gonna go ahead and turn around because I've not seen anybody up here and I don't want somebody to think I'm up here messing with their stuff. So I'm gonna back up, go down to this little turnaround. There's a Triumph TR7, maybe a TR8 in the barn back here and a VW thing. Technically a VW the thing. But uh, yeah, see that? TR7 is the base car, T8. TR8 had a, a V8 in them, and there's the thing. Got numbers on the window. I wonder if that thing was drag raced. It's got slicks on the back. I'd like to think it was. That would be fun. Got a dog barking at me in the mirror back there, you see him? He's like, I'm protecting my daddy's stuff. Let's get off the property right now. Well, I still got my dome, which means I was not shot. I have no idea where I am. It's somewhere in Tennessee. I dipped down into Tennessee. Salina City, the bustling metropolis. Oh, Salina, yeah, Salina, Tennessee. There's a, a gas station and a DQ. 
I'm not gonna take a chance on the DQ. Their fries can be a little iffy. But I am starting to look for some food. My post-lunch, pre-dinner snack. I'm in Alabama. If anybody's missing a rocket, they have it right here on the side of the road. It says USA, so pretty sure it's one of ours. Okay.